and good morning everyone and today i'm going to show you how to use and configure the nexus auction house minecraft plugin first things first you need to install the plugin you can find it on modrance which is a popular website to download mods plugins resource packs mod packs and more so to get started you can hover on discover content and then click on plugins and in here, you can just look up Nexus Auction House and you can find it right here, Nexus. Or you can just scroll through the pages, but it's pretty far, so, you know, just download it, it will go up. So then you can just click the download button here, so you select your game version and your server platform. It's like it's the same char for every platform, but, you know, you can just download it here and it should download anytime soon. So after downloading the plugin, you're going to need some dependencies. So for example, you need Syncclips, which you can find right here in the requirement sections for the plugin. So you can, you can click here and it will take you to the library page. So you can again click download, select your game version and your server software. So use the paper, spigots, burper or buckets. Uh, version so click here click download and you get it downloaded and then uh, you're going to need also vault which is a very popular API for economy chat and permissions so you probably have it on your server but if you don't you can find the link in the description or in the plugin description and you can just hit download here and it will download the plugin. So also it is not mentioned in the plugin, but I'm gonna update it later. Um, you are going to need an uh, economy plugin. So a very popular one and one you probably have on your server is Essentials X. So you can just go to their website. The link will be in the description and just click downloads here and then just select either a development build or a stable release and just download it. And the last thing you're going to need is, it's optional, but you can use lock perms to manage permissions as the plugin offers you to change the permissions uh, for users. So you can just go to their website, lockperms.net. Uh, the link will be in the description once again and just download here. It's you can just select your server type. So you should be on buckets. Uh, also, I should say that I don't recommend using anything like Mohist or any things like this that allows you to combine mods and plugins as it's not made to work like this. So I will not provide support for this, but you can use at your own risk, of course. So once you've downloaded everything, you can just go back to your server and just drop every download its plugin in the plugins folder. Then you're going to need to restart your server. So let's hop in game and show around the features. Okay, so once you're in game, you can just do slash PL and you can, you can see here essentials, lock perms, Nexus auction house, sync libs and vault. Everything is installed and it's perfect. So the base plugin command is slash AH, which is I'm just going to open the auction house uh, window so you can here search anything like here a search um i don't know so any item called i don't know will show up in this window you can also sort the items in the auction house which i'll show up later when there are some items in here so you can sort by price and then by expiry so you can also see every command by doing slash h and, in, and hitting tab so you can let's just walk you around everything so you have ban so ban is a command that allows you to ban items from being sold in the auction house for example here in my hand i have some spruce logs so if i don't want spruce logs to be able to be sold in the auction house i can do slash h ban and now made spruce log not sellable on the h that works and you can just cancel that by doing slash h unban now if you go here you can see um h logs so h logs i'll show you later when i have made some display uh, auctions but it's a window for server admin that allows you to um, see every transactions that happen 
Then you have H reload, which is pretty straightforward. You could just reload the um, configuration. Then you have a search, it's pretty straightforward. And the set expiry, set price, this is, um, this is not, um, this is not important. You're, you're not supposed to use it uh, when, uh, with just the command, it's gonna be just within GUI. And anyways, the most important one is slash h cell. And just for example, six, uh, 64. So I'll sell all 64 of these spruce logs for, uh, for uh, $64. And also you can just define a tax in the configuration, which I'll show later. Um, for example, here it is set it is set to five, which is the default value, and so it's going to take five percent of the sell price and take it from the player, and give it, and just the money will disappear. And here I can confirm, but I don't have enough money, so I'm just going to give myself some money, and here I can just do this again, and boom, it's now listed. And if I do slash H, you can see the auction right here. So you can, I can click to buy it now for $64, which I cannot because I'm the seller. So it expires in six days, 23 hours and 59 minutes. Again, this value is configurable and I, I'm buying it from Sync, which is myself. And you can see at the bottom, this is not showed for regular players, but you can see shift plus click to open the staff management menu for this auction. So this is pretty self-explanatory. If you just click on the item, you have here the auction management uh, menu. So you can, for example, change the price to say, um, I want to say in 640 instead of 64. So now you go back to the H and you can see the price is now 640. Uh, if I click again, I can also set the expiry time. So the time you see here, 17, 44, 11, 25, 52. So this is, uh, this is an epoch timestamp. So it is something very used in coding. And if you look in the lore, you have the link to, uh, to get your epoch value from any time you want. So you can just go to epochconverter.com and you can just get a new value. But for example, uh, this is the number of seconds since January 1st, 1970 in your time zone. So if I change the expiry dates to something like 10 seconds after 1970 uh, on January 1st, so the item is gonna be expired and then I can just go to the age and it will not be here. And I can just do slash a slash AH expired as the user who sold the item and just click here to retrieve the item. It's as simple as that. And this works automatically. So when uh, when the, the item is supposed to be expired, uh, your players can find it in the expired menu. And as you can see right now, I have no expired auctions to retrieve. So this is pretty good. Okay. So now I think I've walked you around the uh, the functionality enough. I'm just gonna make some uh, example auctions to show you. So let me hop on my alt account and just create some auctions. Nice game sound. Okay, and now I'm back and I'm gonna click, I'm gonna hit slash AH and you can see all the auctions here from my alt account. And I can click here to, to buy here uh, for $110. And now the item is out of the auction house and it is right here. And I can also buy this one and now it's perfect. So if I look at AH logs, you can see everything. Uh, so this has expired. This was sold uh, to sync my main account by my alt account and here again. So if you are an admin, you can also click here to give the item to yourself. And as you can see, I bought for $10,680 uh, worth of items. So if I go back to the old account, you can see by, by hitting PAL, I just have $10,000 and a, a little bit less because taxes and everything. But yeah, it's pretty much that. Now let's show you around for the config, how to configure the plugin. So now I'll show you for about the plugin configuration. So you just need to go into your plugins file and then here in plugins you can see Nexus Auction House and click the config.yml file. 
So here you have the first value, which is log keep time. Log keep time is the, the amount of time in seconds that the logs from the AH logs menu will be saved and then it uh, will be deleted. So the default value uh, is this one, which is equal, as I said here, to a month. Then you have expiry time, which is how long the auctions stay up in the auction house before they expire. So as I said here, the default value is one week and this value. Then there's the tax percent, which is the one uh, that you see when you try to sell an item. Uh, so you can configure it right here with say to anything. You can even set it to 200% if you want. So that's not really what you should be doing and you can also set them to zero for to disable the feature and now i can i'll set it back to five and the last one is um if you want admins to receive a notification when the plugin data is saved into the files so save notification right here you can set it to true or false for yes and no and you can just save the file and then just go and reload the plugin you also have in the Nexus Auction House folder a data folder, which you should not touch. Do not ever touch this. It's all the data for your Auction House. Do not delete it. And there's lane.json, but it will, it will not be here by default. And I'll get back to that in a little bit. So now as uh, let's actually talk about the lang. So for lang, you can use some presets. So the presets can be found here in the crowd in which will be linked in the description. So in the sync plugins um, project, which is actually one I was in, that was quite stupid. Uh, you can see here for, so for each language, so um, you do not see English, but it's here because it's like you can see here at zero percent but it's here it's just not uh, it's just the base language so it doesn't show up so anyways if you see here uh, for example French it's 95% uh, of the plugin is translated uh, you can and so we're gonna use French as an example so if you want to use French you can see here the language code which is FR so now if you go back in your plugins folder you can see in Synclibs there's a config YML file, and here, so the, uh, by default the language the language will be set to English. Um, you can set it to any language uh, that is supported. So let's say French, and if a language is not 100% uh, translated, it will just default to English for the missing values. So say I use French, then I. I'm just gonna do that and if I restart my server I'm gonna I'm going to see that everything is now in French but uh, I'm not gonna show you because I already did but OBS didn't record um, also uh, about translations you can easily help someone translate uh, help me translate the plugins so for example if you click a language I clicked French you can just see all the files right here and for example there's this one which is not translated you can just click here and uh, it will bring you in an editor and now you'll see everything so this is the the prefix so I can just copy it here because it's the same and just press enter control enter and everything and the translation is now safe and you can just help uh, you can just help everyone by doing this the link will be in the description and you have some suggestions for, uh, which you can choose and yeah that's pretty much it now if you want to use uh, any um, language you want if you want to customize the messages and not use the presets you can go back into plugins then sync libs and in config in the config yml you just change this to custom then you are going to restart your server um, which I'm not going to do because I can already did that and in every one of my plugins uh, folder you are going to see a new file, lang.json. So here is all the messages in sync libs. Then if you go back here and you see Nexus Auction House, you have a lang.json and you have every string used in the plugin. 
So you can edit them, you can customize them. It's pretty straightforward. And then after changing it, you just have to restart or reload the plugin. That's pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to show you around for the permission. So there are very few permissions. Uh, for example, you have another GUI.open, which you can add. And if you set it to false, it will uh, not allow the players to use the auction house. So if you try to do slash AH, it just doesn't work. So by default, all players can. And if you just set it back to true, the player can use the auction house. And if you just remove the permission, it also works. And uh, you also have the now command that reloads command, and you have uh, and you have ban logs and reloads. So let me just add these, and now I can simply do slash h logs, and you can see all the logs in here. Uh, and you can do reload. You can ban everything that said in the permissions. And for all permissions, you can just do nah and it will just show up. So, for example, you also have the change expiry and change price. So, for example, if I just give myself the menu that manage permission, um, I can go in the edge and see here I can see the staff management. Um, Thing. And if I go here, so I see the regular UI, but if I try to do this, I don't have the permission to change the price, uh, but I, and I don't have the permission to do that either. So I just do now that here, here, and I apply this. And so this is only for up players because it's a little bit of a powerful tool, but you can just click here to change the price and set it to uh, whatever you may want. And here you go, 685. So that should be pretty much it. Um, if you liked the video, please consider subscribing, leaving a like and a comment with everything you have to say about it. Um, if the plugin seemed interesting to you, uh, you can just use it with the links down in the description. And if you like it, you can just leave a review on SpigotMC or just spread it around and have some people use it. We're on our way to 10,000 downloads on Moderance uh, for all my plugins, not just Nexus. But anyways, thank you so much for all the downloads on all the supports and thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you next time.